Hi, and welcome to our session where I will be showing you how you can use Microsoft 365 combined with our developed documents solution to create a 360 degree information overview for your organization and do that in combination with ERP solutions like Microsoft 365 Finance and Operations and leverage the power of Teams and SharePoint to do that. To get started, I'll give you some background about the basics of the solution, and then we'll see how that can be applied in real-world scenarios out of a sales and purchasing perspective. And on top of all of that, we'll show you some of our specialized solutions for accounts payable, invoice processing, and for managing contracts in your organization. Let's start off with a, a view on developed documents from Microsoft 365. As you can see here at the bottom of the screen, we base this solution on the functionality brought to you by Microsoft. SharePoint Online is the basis of the solution, and we leverage the power of Teams and the other components of Microsoft 365 to deliver the solutions you see up above that. So the basis would be the solution on the left side, where we have a full-scale document management solution uh, that allows you to create digital file folders to organize and make your information accessible easily and readily. On top of that solution, we have additional add-ons that you can use in order to have a dedicated invoice processing solution and to manage contracts in your organization. Let's have a closer look at what's in the box, so to speak. Uh, because we leverage the components available in Microsoft, we have the things that you see on the bottom left side of this slide, uh, the web-based file handling capabilities of Microsoft 365, the check-in and check-out capabilities, and the versioning that's available in the SharePoint Online product. What that doesn't bring you, however, is what we're going to be looking at in a moment, the powerful ways that you can use that and integrate that in your daily work. On the right side, you can see that we use the full text search capabilities of this platform, but we extend that by providing a way of organizing, storing, and capturing complex metadata that lets you organize documents in a business context. Let's have a closer look at what we have in the box here. So on the left side are the file plans I was talking about. We'll be looking at examples of customer uh, folders that allow you to have a view on everything related to a customer or to a supplier. Uh, we'll show you how templates can be used to create documents today. Uh, we have an inbound and scanning component in the cloud that allows us to capture data. Again, one of the things that's not available to you as a SharePoint user. Uh, this brings the power of bringing information from your documents into this solution. On top of that, we'll also show you how we can integrate into the applications you use the most. Uh, an example today will be Outlook, and from the ERP perspective, we'll be using finance and operations as an example of how we can neatly integrate into the solutions you use every day. So based on those, we come back to what we were talking about before. Using those components and mixing and matching them, we create the solutions we talked about. Full-scale document management, contract management, and invoice processing. So what's our approach in doing this? The real-world situation that you often have in your organization, and in anybody's organization, is that information is available to you in various silos. So over on the right side, as an example, as a dynamics assigned, it could be any other ERP solution or accounting package that you have uh, where you have information that you look for in that silo. You may have other information stored in emails and in Outlook. Uh, over on the far left, a bit more old world in paper form, but which most of us still have. You have documents stored in file folders. You may also have documents that are being stored in file shares, uh, where each department, each person has their own little way of doing that, uh, and then it's often not clear at all where you can go to find something or where it needs to be stored. I left one out in, uh, in this silo image, and that's the one with the SharePoint uh, symbol. You may be using that already but it's likely that that's also an additional silo where you have some information available, but it's not linked in any way, shape, or form with everything else that you see here in the picture. So let's see how we could change that particular situation. Let's take SharePoint and move it to the center of the image and say that that's going to be the basis for all of your company's and your organization's documents, and we're going to use that together with Teams and the other Microsoft components you see here uh, to make information quickly available documents coming out of other sources, whether they be paper form that are being scanned in, whether it's documents being automatically generated from your ERP solution, from dynamics coming in from the top of the image, automatically get stored in the right place with the right information in SharePoint 
And once we've done that, then we don't have to worry about information silos. You have one source of truth that you go to for all of your organization's documents. So let's have a look at that live and in color, not just the theory, but what does this really look like? So I'm going to start off here with a view in finance and operations in our presentation system here. And as I will show you here on the left, we will go straight into an example uh, from a sales perspective to get started. Uh, let's have a look here at some quotations that have been created in the system. And as you can see here, we have various uh, quotations created for a customer, Mason and Taylor, who will accompany us today in the presentation. And we've gone in and had a look here that there's a, a quotation that has been created. When it was printed out of the system, it was automatically captured by our adapter components and stored in SharePoint Online together with all of the information about that quotation. So the customer number, quotation number, et cetera. All of that's available to us. And as you can see up here, we have a, an integration in the user interface to open documents documents that automatically, without leaving finance and operations, opens an iframe showing you what we call the develop center. This is a standardized view that you'll see time and again today that gives you access to the document on the right side. So there's the stored quotation and then information uh, in the middle and on the left side that goes into more detail about that particular document. So you can see on the left side that we have a view on the customer and various opportunities. And in the middle, we have metadata information about Mason and Taylor themselves. So when we created that document, we also automatically created a structure for that document, which you can see here, that gives you the opportunity to access different kinds of documents. Here, I've clicked onto a request for the proposal that was the initiator for the actual proposal we created. And that's stored here in an email format. So again, you can see we're accessing and storing various types of documents, uh, all of which are automatically covered by the system. So up in the top here, you can also see the, uh, the parallel to the structure on the left side that lets you see where the correspondence is stored. And you can see here again, various types of documents, whether those be Word documents or, or emails, uh, anything basically that's pertinent to the case can be stored here and easily accessed. Um, and as we do that, let's go over and we've shown some emails there. Let's see how those come into the system. So I could be working with Outlook as we have here in this example. Uh, again, I have an email that's come in and is requesting a, a proposal. Uh, it's got the, the appropriate information in it, so I know where it needs to be stored. And uh, basically, all I would have to do here is take that particular document and uh, basically make it available in the system using a tool that we call the sidebar. This is an integration client that we provide you with that integrates into the entire Office package. And as you can hear, see here, slides in from the right side. We're going to access the sales part of our system. Um, as you can see here, we're having a view out of Outlook straight into SharePoint Online. We can see all of the structures that we were looking at before. Um, in this way, we've, most people are used to being able to access documents like this straight out of the application they use every day. Uh, here, I'm searching for our customer, Mason and Taylor. And as you'll see here, I'm going to drill right down to that uh, purchase order uh, 1113 or 113. And uh, I can then again see the structure that we were looking at before, but just in a different context here. So and once I know where I want to, uh, to store that, I can have a look at the other documents that we looked at before, the correspondence documents, and in fact, our initial sales um, proposal as well that came out of finance and operation can be accessed here. A double click out of that sidebar opens up the document for me, in this case in Excel, or it would be a PDF viewer if we had converted it to a PDF, which we most often do in these cases. So I'm not going to make any changes to that. Uh, let's go back here and uh, go back up to our, uh, our course, to our request for the proposal and uh, show you how a document like this could be stored. So if you've received this email um, and you then want to decide where to put it away, we're going to put it in the document type request for a proposal. All you have to do is drag and drop that email to the correct location. That gets transferred straight into SharePoint. And as you can see here at the top, we've automatically uh, taking the information pertinent to the email. You can see who it was from when you received it. Uh, and down below, you can see the business relevant information. So you can see the proposal number, you can see the customer number, and that has all been inherited automatically based on where you dropped the document in the system. So that's basically as simple as it can get. And then you just click one button and it's stored. And as you can see, in fact, here in Outlook, it's also marked as stored in SharePoint. So you know after the fact that that's been done. And in fact, across your Exchange server, other people will see that as well. So that the same document doesn't get stored multiple times. 
Um, so it's all neatly integrated, easy to use, and it's exactly one of the points where people have issues in managing documents. How do you get them in easily? How do you access the information easily and in a standardized form across all of your applications? We just saw there in FNO what that access to the uh, develop center looks like. Let's have a look in Teams. If you're working on projects or using Teams as a mode of communication, we can embed this solution within Teams as well. So you're looking at exactly the same user interface. You're using the same way to get to information no matter where you're coming from. Uh, and not only can you be accessing it like this, you could also be storing it or dropping information straight into this user interface as well. Again, as we can see here, we're looking at those emails that we stored just a few moments ago, and uh, they're instantly available to you in the Teams context as well. One thing that bears mentioning too, you see the number there. I did a drag and drop example. These kind of documents can also be automatically parsed and directly stored in uh, the correct place in the system. So let's go back into the sidebar for a minute and see what it would be like to work with these documents with somebody who's external to your organization. So as you can see here, with the right mouse click on those documents, I can send from this location a document or a link to a document to anyone I'd like to very quickly. You don't have to go and find out where the physical document is, put it on a document scanner someplace, just in order to be able to send somebody uh, a proposal copy that they were asking for. It's just a few clicks away and into Outlook and off you go and send it to the person outside of your organization who needs to see it. So again, it's a very different approach. It's, it's not digging around for information. It's not having to go to ask people for information. It's just accessing it quickly and easily yourself. So again, coming back here into to Teams, we can see how we have that view on the opportunity. Um, yeah, and that basically is, is the story, is that that 360 degree view uh, on this information is available no matter where you are, whether you're coming out of your ERP solution, whether you're in emails, whether you're in Teams, the users have to adapt to one, one solution and they always know where they need to go. Uh, one quick example here, in addition, we were looking at things from a sales perspective. Let's have a quick example here out of finance uh, and operations from a, uh, from a purchasing perspective. So again, here we have purchase orders that are created in the system. Uh, in this case for, for loudspeakers, uh, I think my teenagers would like this one. Um, so you got a couple of uh, high quality loudspeakers here that have been ordered and that purchase order was automatically stored in the system and with one click out of, uh, out of Dynamics we have that, not only the, uh, the purchase order but again we've created a structure here for additional types of documents where you might have uh, emails that have gone back and forth with the supplier, uh, any particular correspondence relevant to this particular purchase order would all be available here. Uh, again, relevant when people are looking at invoices afterwards coming into the system, if they want to see any relevant information, it's all instantly available for anybody concerned with that invoice. Uh, as an example here, for instance, you later receive the goods, you may have delivery notes that you've received in a physical form. And I've taken two delivery notes here and just dragged and dropped those over into the, into the system at the level of this particular uh, purchase order number. And we can see that the information for those delivery notes has been inherited uh, straight down to the document. All I have to do is confirm that and those documents are stored and now available for anybody else who's looking for the documents. So again, simple, straightforward, easy to use. Okay, so on this entire structure that we've created, where you have information about goods delivered, about purchase orders being made, et cetera, uh, one of the biggest areas that people are dealing with uh, daily is, is handling invoices coming into an organization and getting those approved. So <laughs> that, that's the headache people have. I always like this one where we use it a lot, but it's, it's the real world. Uh, where do I find the invoices? It's the end of the month. Uh, do I have everything? Does somebody have a 50,000 euro invoice in their desk drawer and they've gone on vacation to Tahiti for three weeks? Uh, who's responsible for approving the invoice? Uh, you know, where is it? Uh, if, if, if it? Has it already been sent to headquarters? Is it still at my branch location? And let's add on to all of this the fact uh, that we're now in a world where people are also in home offices for an extensive amount of time, making central access to dead paper, to dead tree paper invoices uh, that much more difficult. So what can we do to improve that solution, that situation? 
uh, we can provide an entirely cloud-based solution that lets you ingest invoices via a cloud-based scanning application that also lets you receive the invoices that you're getting by email to your invoices at company.com uh, that we automatically import into the system. And once we've done that, we use our cloud-based invoice reader capabilities to recognize all of the text on those documents, to recognize key attributes, and then to compare those attributes with your ERP master data. Uh, we set this up individually for all kinds of systems. If you have something like finance and operations, we have connectors out of the box to do that as well. Uh, and once we've got all of that wealth of information, we can then put that into a workflow process that again we deliver out of the box with standard steps that can then be adapted to your particular needs for verification, for approval of the invoice, accounting, account assignments, and then posting it to the backend system. And all the while, those documents, once they've been scanned, are stored and safe in the backend system, whether that's developed documents from Microsoft 365 or whether that's our developed document solution that you can see in different tracks in today's and tomorrow's program. So let's have a quick, uh, very quick live look here at the, uh, the invoice processing solution. We're going to start off from some, the context of somebody working in Teams. And... Uh, Basically, we can see here a number of Teams channels, and we have one for the accounting team. And you can see here that we have integrated a view on tasks. This is a place where the accounting uh, employee uh, or other people working with the system would see all of the invoices that they're supposed to be working with. Uh, in this case, we have an invoice on the right side that's stored in, in the customer's SharePoint tenant. And on the left side, we have all of the pertinent information for that invoice. So we can see the header information about about the invoice uh, and the top of this form, again, an out-of-the-box form that needs very little adaptation. And in the bottom of it, we see the line items that we recognized on the invoice. And because we've compared that with the purchase order and goods received in the back end, we can see here that uh, this matches the information we have in the back end system. So that makes that a very straightforward, simple process. And all you would have to do here basically is having uh, done this comparison to then just go ahead and post uh, this document and invoice to finance and operations. That's it out of the box, basically, uh, in, in the simplest form. Uh, again, this is an example of, of invoices with purchase orders, and we can do more complex processes, of course, for those documents that don't have purchase orders. Let's move on quickly to uh, contract management. Uh, just a quick view there on what our out-of-the-box solution brings. Basically, the idea is to have a centralized contract file where we bring everything together that you need to manage uh, your contractual situation with various suppliers. So we have the actual documents themselves. We have templates that help you create documents. We have overviews of tasks that need to be done in handling your contracts. And very importantly, of course, uh, deadline management to make sure that you don't miss any opportunities for canceling contracts or, or renegotiating extensions of contracts. So let's have a very quick look here as well in, in a live sense at uh, the solution. This is the, the view on developed contracts for Microsoft 365. Uh, you can see here in the middle of the screen that you have a particular view on the contracts that, uh, that you're working with that require your attention. Uh, I'll just take one as an example here. You can see the detailed level of information available for each contract that you can just mouse over to. And here you would have views on your last modified or upcoming deadlines so you don't miss anything. So we help you structure those daily processes. Um, we give you a powerful search tool across the entire system up there at the top of the, the solution. But uh, in addition to that, you can also use an advanced search tool that would let you go through details of contracts. So up at the top here, for instance, for this particular customer, we've got some quick buttons here. I've just drilled down to supplier contracts, and then I can add fields that let me do detailed searches. Uh, for instance, here on who's my contractual partner. Let's go back to, the, to Wesson as a company. We had them before. Uh, Wesson Limited, and now I can see all of their contracts. I can directly access those, uh, or I can uh, export these search results if I need to use those in another system like in Excel, or save the search templates for uh, suppliers that you're working with time and time again. Again, up here we have, uh, I'm not with uh, enough time today, but we have uh, a tool that basically takes you through the storage of a new contract and everything that needs to be done when you're putting a new contract into the system. And down here, again, leverage of the Microsoft platform, we can use Power BI uh, to create views on, on your contract contracts and let you sort and uh, search through all of that information quickly and very easily. 
So that, in a nutshell, is, is what the, the solution brings. And of course, we'll be happy to give you more detailed presentations of any of these solutions uh, after the fact. Thank you very much for your time. My name is Garth McCown. Please reach out to our international team if you have any more questions. <laughs>